I know it, you know it, any hiker knows it. This is really the only type of video that we care about. We're going to talk about gear. Hey everybody, well, I figured it was time for me to do my gear layout video of what I'll be taking with me on my Appalachian Trail through hike starting in March 20th. Uh, some of my gear might surprise you. Uh, some of the stuff uh, you might not even heard of the company before. But the whole idea is for me to show you what works for me. And maybe it might spur something in your mind to say, oh, wow, hey, I didn't think about that. And at the same time, when you're looking at my gear, feel free to comment below and say, hey, have you considered this? Have you thought about that? Well, you missed this. Please let me know. Well, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is going to be my pack, of course. And I'm going with the Chicken Tramper 45 liter pack. Uh, if you haven't heard of these guys, uh, I've got a couple videos. Also go check out the Backpacking Podcast. Uh, they've got like a couple of interviews there with uh, Nathan and Austin, the, the two co-owners. And check out their, their website. Uh, Chicken Tramper Ultra, Ultralight Gear. Uh, guys are based out of Hancock, Michigan, and they're really churning out some fantastic products. So, uh, it doesn't have your normal Lycra uh, for the big pockets here on the side for your water bottles and on the front of it. It's, uh, it's a mesh, which is a lot more durable, uh, which I really enjoy. Roll top closure with, let me get in video here. Let me show that roll top closure with a Y strap that has a lot of extra strap there for your bear canisters or anything like that. But really one of the neat things is the actual frame itself. So they use carbon fiber arrow shafts for their frame. So if something were to happen and this were to break, you could easily replace it. But at the same time, it keeps it very lightweight, so you don't have aluminum or anything heavy like that. Uh, this is a sit pad that comes out. Isn't that awesome? So you don't have to worry about carrying a separate one. Uh, you've got that right next to your back. Not like a lot of packs, which might have a curvature here. This doesn't. This is flush against your back. Personally, I don't find it that much of a problem when it comes to the heat. Uh, and I find it extremely comfortable. Now, I'm also going with their water bottle sleeve here, as well as their cell phone sleeve. Uh, this is going to be very important for me because I've got an Anchor 20,000 um, backup or battery bank, and this will allow me to put the battery bank in here, run the cable over, and either charge my Osmo Pocket or my cell phone at the same time. Or if I'm not using it, I can put my cell phone in here, have my Osmo pocket, what have you. Uh, there's a couple different ways to set this up. To include, get the strap out of here. You can fold down this portion here and run the strap over like that to Velcro there. And you can have your corded headphones coming out of it. So really great innovative piece of gear. I'm also going to be rocking a fanny pack of theirs. Uh, and the great thing about this is you can wear it like a normal fanny pack with your pack, or they've got their own proprietary system that they use to attach the fanny pack, which has a couple of Z clips and a fast clip there. So it attaches to your waist belt and you don't have that strap running around your back. And, you know, to drop your pack, you just unclip one side and undo your waist belt and you're good to go. So, fantastic piece of gear. I've used it uh, all this year for all of my backpacking except for one trip. And it has served me extremely well. Um, but, you know, even if you're not looking for a new pack, there are accessories that they have like a water bottle sleeve. They've got uh, other, other pouches to put on your strap as well in addition to the phone one. Check those guys out. No, I'm not getting any kickbacks, but check them out. Their stuff is fantastic. Um, I also have a video for their 25 liter pack and uh, man, I, I love that thing. All right, enough fanboy moments with Chicken Tramper here and let's move on. 
Okay, I just covered a lot of this in my previous video, but I'm using a uh, trash compactor bag for a liner. I also have my Recharge XL is going to be my sleeping mat or sleeping pad. I've got the pump sack for that, which also serves as a dry bag. So I'll be able to put clothes in there. I'll be able to put my quilt, things like that. that I want to make extra sure that they don't get wet. Speaking of which, quilt 30 degree UGQ Bandit XL with two ounces of overstuff in the body and the foot box. Uh, man, absolutely love it. And once again, please go check out this video over here and you can see more about this. I went with the color for a specific reason, not just because I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan, but I wanted that blaze orange on the outside for emergency signaling purposes. So when I was in the army, uh, we used to spot our drop zones by sticking our heads off the tailgate of a C-130 at 3,000 feet in the air and a mile out. And we used to spot things called VS-17 panels, which were fluorescent color. And they were about two feet wide and maybe about four feet long. If I can spot that from that distance, then some Yahoo flying search and rescue for me will be able to see this quilt. Tent is the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. My pillow is the Perea Outdoor Products Down Pillow, which is supplemented with this Big Agnes little blow up El Cheapo pillow. Trekking poles. Tac Niner carbon fiber trekking poles. Each one weighs a little bit over seven ounces and these suckers are only $65. Uh, I did a giveaway for these. And once again, I'm not sponsored, I'm not getting kickbacks, but I really believe in these. Uh, their handle, even though I like cork, these handles are pretty stiff. So they're very much like cork. Uh, but like I said, I, I love these things. These are great. And yeah, I've got the little rubber feet on there because I will take those for when the leaves are on the ground. I'm not skewering a bunch of leaves and that's just freaking annoying. Okay, next, let's go over some water and food. Taking the three smart water bottles. These are just for show. I'm not taking filled ones. I'm going to buy new ones when I get there. My filtration, the Be Free, I take the three liter bag because this way, I can fill up at the stream, walk to wherever I drop my pack and do my filtering there instead of down next to the stream. Um, a lot of times the, the area around streams is fragile because it's wet and you've got vegetation. So instead of standing there, possibly causing some damage to the environment, I fill this sucker up and I just take it back with me. Uh, the other good thing about this is, if for some reason I need to do a water carry, I've got three additional liters. Uh, and this is especially handy for me at night. So I top off my bottles, uh, head back to my campsite, and I've got my cooking water, I've got the water to brush my teeth. And, uh, you know, if I want to do a little cleanup of the, you know, the vital areas, you know, pits, butt, you know, twig and berries, I can do that. Oh, uh, continuing on, uh, bear bag is just a hilltop packs. I've actually got a new one coming and you'll dig it when you see it. Uh, my line, it's just maybe about 25, 30 feet of spectra with a couple of carabiners. Uh, cook system. I've got a Priya outdoor products. Uh, it's 750 milliliter pot with lid. Of course, I know this isn't coming with me. I use an MSR Pocket Rocket 2 as my stove. Uh, I actually got this from a pawn shop across the street from my office for 20 bucks. So that's not bad. Then inside of my pot, of course, the obligatory mini Bic. Um, on top of my canister, I've got a piece of sponge kind of abrasive on this side, foam in the center, sponge on this, not only for cleaning my pot, but it keeps things from rattling around. Uh, just the aluminum foil uh, windscreen. 
Pre Outdoor Products Titanium Spoon Long Handle. This is one of my favorite pieces of gear. There it is, silicone cup, 93 cents from Walmart. There you go. And this is something else I found that's really cool. Oh, I don't know if you can see those, but it's a little snack bag and it's got measurements of quarter, half, three quarters, and one cup. Uh, I got them at a Dollar Tree and this is what it looks like. Uh, it's in French. That's what it looks like. Uh, so I kept 38 of them for a buck, but for measuring, whether you're measuring food, water, what have you, this is perfect uh, because my cups in milliliters and I suck at converting metric to standard. So all that gets tucked away in the little sack here, uh, which also doubles as my rock sack for my bear bag. And lastly, I want to point this out. I know a lot of people like their cozies. Oh man, let me move. Like their, their cozies to, uh, to put their pot in. This is, let me show you. This is actually this right here. They use it for mailing things that, are, that can melt, that they need to insulate, what have you. I flipped it around. And the great thing is, is that, you know, if I want to keep my pot warm for what's inside, I can do it. The other thing is, I can fit a mountain house meal in here or something like that uh, as well, so I can keep that warm. Uh, this is, it weighs nothing, um, and it provides a lot more versatility than a koozie does. And uh, <laughs> they're free, you get them in the mail when you buy stuff. So that's cool. Uh, one gallon bag for trash. Okay, let's talk about some clothing here. Uh, first of all, I've got this all bundled up. This is a synthetic puffy jacket from, uh, if you've gone to the website, uh, Decathlon. Uh, it's a Chinese company. And their jackets are very reasonably priced. And the performance is very good. The only problem is they run small. Uh, and by small, I mean, this is a 2X. Normally I wear an extra large, this is a 2X, and I really can't layer that much underneath. But this is good down to 23 degrees. Now, what I did is I went back and ordered their down version. When I got this, uh, their down version was out of stock. So I went and ordered the down version in 3X, uh, so I have plenty of room to layer underneath and trap in the air and create those pockets like that. But the down version got like Gear Junkies best of award for last year. Uh, their website says a medium runs 14 ounces. Yeah, a male medium is like 14 ounces. So when that shows up, uh, I'll go ahead and swap these two things out and... <laughs> Good old FedEx, it, uh, it already made it from California to Utah, and then they decided to send it back to Sacramento. So, good job, FedEx. All right, uh, another outdoor or out, outer shell is a, it's made by this company called uh, Uniqlo, U-N-I-Q-L-O. They're a Japanese company. Uh, some people refer to them as like the Japanese version of the Gap. However, a lot of their stuff is very adaptable to the outdoors. So this little parka, this little windbreaker here, weighs eight ounces. And this is it. That's all there is to it. It's basically a very lightweight wind shell. I use this all the time uh, when I'm backpacking. And it's great in the fact that... Uh, you know, if you're just wearing like your, uh, your hoodie, but you got a little bit of wind going, you can throw that on. You can stop the wind from cutting through you. It's also great as a sun hoodie. Uh, and I've used it, you know, walking around town while I was, you know, doing laundry, things like that. Um, fantastic. I got this on sale for like 19 bucks a couple of years ago. Um, and once again, it is a Japanese company. 
their sizes are smaller. I'd take an extra large. I had to get a 2X. Uh, the hoodie that I'm going to be using, surprisingly, it's not a Melanzana. This is my Skylight Gear hoodie. Uh, Skylight Gear is, is basically one guy who started off making stuff like this as a hobby, then turned it into uh, you know, a little side hustle while he was going through college. Uh, but all this is done to my measurements. It came to like 120 bucks because I had a drawstring put at the bottom and thumb holes here. Uh, but I figured 120 bucks, I'm helping out a kid who's going through college and it was made specifically for me. So, you know what? I don't feel too bad on spending that money. Uh, I want to say this is, uh, it's either Alpha Direct or High Loft. Um, I forget which. But it's, it's, it's the same material. It's made by Polar Tech, you know, same company that makes the, uh, the Melanzana stuff. Um, but this is unbelievably light. And especially when you get a shell over top, my God, is this thing warm. Uh, base layer. Speaking of Polar Tech, these are both made by Polar Tech. And the awesome thing about these is that you can get them for free. All you need to do is join the army. That's right. So I'm using my, my Polar Tech, you know, base layer stuff that I had left over from the Army. I've got things from other companies. Uh, but this gets it done. And what I like about this, too, unlike the other ones, which have, like, elastic at the, the, the bottom here that really cinch tight, these don't. These are a little bit looser. Uh, so they don't really ride up uh, on your leg when you're hiking and stuff like that. All right, so what else are we going to have in the bag? A uh, pair of, uh, I think they're made by Asics uh, shorts. They have a liner inside. They dry out very quickly. I've used these before in the past and really enjoy them. So they'll be in my bag. Uh, I'll use them for either when I'm doing laundry in town or when it heats up. I also have uh, just a, a long sleeve tech shirts. Yep, it's Wounded Warrior Project. It's my former employer, or soon to be former employer, uh, but a fantastic organization. And uh, we just do a hell of a lot of stuff for veterans. All right, so that's what's in the bag. Oh, a couple other things. Uh, extra pair of socks, darn tough. Uh, I find that I do not need the big, fluffy, you know, really heavy socks for sleeping at night. So uh, I'm only taking this one extra pair, and these will be for sleeping or to swap out with my other ones if I need to. A uh, couple pair of gloves here, uh, or not a couple pair of gloves, but a pair of gloves made by Out Outdoor Designs. They're very thin. Uh, these are what I use for hiking around Colorado, unless it gets down into the teens. Uh, and then I definitely need to use something heavier. But uh, I might, it might be a little chilly when I start off, but you know what? Once you start your hands swinging and you get that blood flowing, things warm up quickly. And <laughs> I am going to take something melons on it. It is the, the beanie, or excuse me, the toque. Uh, I've said it numerous times, the warmth to weight ratio for these hats are unsurpassed. I don't think you can find anything warmer that weigh as little as these do uh, anywhere. And uh, fantastic, and not only keep your, your noggin warm, but wicking away sweat. Uh, also sleeping in them, I mean, I, I can't say enough. All right, so what am I going to be wearing at least to start off? Okay, we're going to go back with Uniqlo. And these are a pair of Block Tech pocketable pants. And they do have a little stuff sack here. So it shows you, you know, they can really get down small when you pack them up. Uh, but the wind will not cut through these at all. You also have a mesh liner on the inside, so they're very comfortable to wear. Uh, I've had these out paired with a base layer bottoms in, oh, geez, probably down into the teens, and they have worked great. Uh, they also have 
an elastic drawstring at the bottom uh, to cinch them up. Uh, oh, and also zippered pockets, which is fantastic. I don't know if these are going to stay with me throughout the entire trip, or maybe only some of it. We'll see. Uh, I will be wearing, this is just a Merrill fleece. Uh, once again, depending on the heat, I'll swap between this and the uh, my uh, other long sleeve shirt that I have there. I've slept in this too. Uh, this is a fantastic little piece of gear. For some reason, they put some little pocket here on the side. I don't know what the heck I'm going to put in there, but uh, probably nothing. But, yep, nice little shirt. And underneath all that, this is a Uniqlo uh, shirt from their Airism line. The Airism stuff is, is designed to keep you dry and cool. Uh, I don't know if they're making the long sleeve ones anymore or not, but love this shirt. Uh, fantastic, uh, and also cuts down on friction from straps and things like that. Uh, let's see, for bottoms, these are the uh, Armachillo, as you can read, Armachillo long boxers uh, from Duluth Trading. Um, you know, there's a couple things out there you shouldn't skimp on when it comes to your backpacking stuff, and underwear is one of them, especially if you're prone to chafing. Uh, these are a little bit longer. I love them. You This way you don't have to worry about your underwear riding up on you and things like that. Fantastic. Uh, another pair of darn tough socks. And then for rain gear, I'm going to be rocking the frog togs. Also, let's see, I've got my buff, got to rep Colorado while I'm doing it, and let me get these, uh, Shady Ray sunglasses. Uh, if you don't know anything about Shady Rays, let me take a moment. Their sunglasses, you can normally get a deal on those, like, uh, you know, uh, two pairs, 50% off each. But normally you can get a really good, not only a really good deal, but they have a policy of they will replace a pair if you break them, if you lose them, uh, whatever. No questions asked. I actually had to do that with a pair, and that's how I ended up with these. Only cost $8, shipping, handling, processing, all that stuff. Polarization is fantastic, and they are so light. You know, and these have the rubberized stems, uh, so they won't go sliding off your face. The same thing with the nose piece. Uh, fantastic for hiking in. Okay, now we'll get into the last of it, starting with my Diddy first aid stuff, going all the way over to my electronics. Um, cheapo bug net. I know I won't need it initially, but... I would rather have it with me, because it really doesn't weigh anything, rather have it with, with me for when those bugs first show up than to go, shit, I wish I had my bug net. Okay, uh, first aid kit. Uh, got some toothpaste. I got my toothpaste and all that stuff in there. Toothbrush. I know what you're saying. Oh, my God, it's not ultralight. It is now. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Band-Aids, uh, acetaminophen, you know, got some uh, Imodium, just your, your standard kind of stuff. A little bit of KT tape in there, and I've got this. It's a small little vial of liquid skin, uh, which is really great when it comes to blisters. Taking a pack of earplugs. Very lightweight, once again, not concerned about it adding too much to my pack. Uh, not only for me, but I also, I snore very loudly. Uh, so what I'll do is if I have to sleep in a shelter, I will give them the option. Be like, Hey, I'm like a freaking buzzsaw. Do you want some earplugs? Small little pack towel. There you go. Wipe up condensation, uh, from the inside of the tent, you know, personal hygiene, what have you. Corded, corded headphones, skull candy, uh, toenail clipper, 
and I've got the, the small, the obligatory small little uh, Swiss Army knife. Uh, extra Bic lighter, and this also has my KT tape on it. Uh, small carabiner, just in case. Rawology cork ball to roll everything out at the end of the day. Uh, extra sports cap. Repair kit for uh, sleeping mats. Tenacious tape. Here's a, a little hack for you. So this right here comes with a spoon up top. That's all there is to it. I don't know how many times I've heard about people losing their spoon and ending up having to use like a trek or not a trekking pole, but a um, tent stake to eat their food with. Oop. Buy some tuna like this, and this is really good, the spicy Thai chili. Get a free spoon, put it in your ditty bag. You'll never be out of luck. Uh, let's see, got my Tabiolite 300 headlamp. Uh, four hours at high, right there, so you get four hours that way. Uh, it is adjustable where you can dim it. And it also has other modes too. There we go. So not bad, got this a few years ago. It's extremely comfortable. Has a moisture wicking like sports band on it. And the great thing is, is that the battery is sitting in the back, not on the front of your face, dipping down on you. So great piece of uh, gear there. Also along with BioLite, um, I think these are called travel lights now. They were called like mini lights. So once again, let's see here. You got dim, you got bright, red, flashing, flashing, and off. Uh, comes with this little stand. So if you need to set it down and still have it shine on, you can do that. If you want it to hang up in your tent at night and provide light down that way, you also, can use this, let's see if, oh, turn it that way. Yeah, this portion right here, you can slide that onto your shirt so you can walk around with it attached to you. Uh, the other great thing about this is it, it has a USB port you can charge from. It's tough working with this camera. USB port you can charge from. This is only like 3,200 milliamps, so you're not gonna charge up your iPhone 100%, but if things go south and you need to charge, you got something there that you can send some phone, or uh, send some texts out, or phone call, or something like that. Uh, Anchor 20,000 uh, milliamp battery bank. Garmin InReach Mini and poop kit. Uh, hey, I'm a bidet guy. So it's a cool old clean. Got that to go along with it. Dr. Broner soap. Uh, this stuff is fantastic. I always go with the peppermint because, you know, it's nice when you're at the end of the day cleaning up your, you know, your junk and everything else. You get nice and fresh feeling. Uh, Deuce of spades hand sanitizer, and even though I use a bidet, I won't when I have to do a long water carry because I'm not going to waste it on my butt or if it's really cold out because nobody wants a taint sickle. So I do take a little bit of toilet paper. Okay, lastly, uh, I've got a hard case here for my electronic stuff. So this is a, uh, a Best Buy brand charger, wall charger have some uh, attachments for my Osmo Pocket, charging cables, uh, extra cards, uh, filters. This is a one terabyte hard drive. So I've already put all my music on it off my computer, but I'm gonna use this to store and, and uh, keep all of my photographs and videos. And lastly, this is a Bluetooth uh, keyboard. So don't know how it's going to work out. We'll give it a shot. Uh, for me, 
This I'm hoping will make editing videos a lot easier. Since I don't have an iPad or something like that, I'm gonna have to do it on my phone. I've got a Samsung uh, S20, uh, which is a great phone, but this might come in a little bit handy. And also has a little touchpad here, so you can use like a mouse and everything else. So if this ends up not being practical, if I don't use it, I'll just send it back. So there we go, that's my gear video. So please, uh, if you see something I might have missed, let me know if you've got uh, better options out there, please let me know, I'm totally flexible. Uh, there's only a few things that I'm really, uh, you know, tied to that I wouldn't swap out, you know, my quilt and my pack. Uh, other than that, I think everything is, uh, is negotiable. So I appreciate you coming in and checking out the video. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out. There's more to come. And hey, if you want to, uh, send me an email and I will send you a sticker so you can show your support for my channel. All right, folks, that wraps it up here. We'll talk to you soon.